do you ever think about what life would be like if you are unable to sweat or if you are unable to eat your favorite meal because you did not develop any teeth or developed very few teeth. Now imagine that that is your child and that is how they were born, that is how their genetic makeup is like and there is nothing you can do about it. Margaret Njeri is 34 years old. She's a mother of three boys. James is her eldest. Kwa kwanza anaitwa James Waweru. Kwa pili anaitwa Samuel Chege. Na watatu anaitwa Branson Kenobia. James Waweru ana miaka 17. Samuel Chege ana miaka 14. Branson Kenobia ana miaka 9. Chege ana shida yote. Apo okay. Very okay. Eh, changamoto ni nyingi kama kudiscriminatiwa na watu na yani watu kuchongolewa na watu na dai sana yeah. na hali ya weather yeah, na hapo sana James was born a bouncing baby boy no one suspected anything could be abnormal with the baby but soon enough Margaret the then first time mom was having a rough time vile nilipata kuzaa James Waweru nilipitia changamoto nyingi sana kwa sababu alikuwa na shida za mwili kama joto sa zingine analia the whole day anakuwa blocked nose inabidi sengine ukienda hospitali hata unatoa matibabu lakini mkija nyumbani unaona bado hiyo shida ijeisha na shida ya joto sana sana so ile ilifika mpaka mahali mamangu nikampigia simu akaniambia mtoto akikusumbua hivyo uwe upumweka kwa unamtoa nguo na kana vest na saa zingine hata unamweka kwa maji baridi so nilipitia changamoto nyingi sana hata ika happen mpaka the my first marriage ika break maana sasa ni kama huyo baba yake aliona ni kama aje aje huyu mtoto wako abnormal nikapitia changamoto nyingi sana mpaka hiyo marriage ikaharibika but nikakuja tu kukacha mimi vile nilikuwa naenda kwa madaktari nilikuwa napewa tu ma vitu za kutoa madawa ma painkillers na za kumuondolea joto but ili continue ika continue sana maana hata vile kwenye nilikuwa naishi by then nilikuwa naishi kitale nilikuwa nasema ni hali ya joto ikabidi hata nikahamia sehemu nyingine hata kwenye kuna badidi lakini condition iko change ikawaze tu kabisa lakini nikakuja nikakuja na mtoto nikamlea tu na aka grow it got worse for James and his mother when he started school. At some point, the family almost gave up. The bullying was too much. All of this due to James's condition, a condition they were trying to understand. Shida tena changamoto nyingine alipitia vile alianza shule, alikuwa tena na anachekelewa na watoto sana. Anaambia meno sijui zinakaaje, nywele anaambia nywele inakaa ni manyoya manyoya. Ikafika mahali mpaka mtoto vile aligura akaanza kujielewa, akaanza ni kama shule ni kama wakusukumwa shule so it went uh, it went on hata vile alia join high school akafanywa bullying na watoto mpaka akaacha shule aka stay 2 years home alafu ndio akaniambia mama nataka tu nirudi shule nikamtafutia shule yenye ako sawa soon it became all gloom and apathy and the family developed some delusional beliefs as they tried to understand what this could be kabla nijue sasa nilikuwa nasema ama ni kas nikasema nikiuliza wa mama wale wazee wa shosho wakaanza kuniambia ama ni aliangaliwa na jicho mbaya nikawa nimechanganyikiwa lakini sasa vile nilika nikielewa nikajua sasa hii ni kitu ya lifetime siko nimeelewa ati ni ugonjwa as in sasa nimekuja kufafanuliwa juzi ya kwamba kuna watu hata nika nika google nikaona kuna watu hata nchi za nje wako wanaishi na hiyo maumbile so nika nika accept tu lakini nikipata Brian sasa Nilikuwa at least niko na confidence juu nimelea fastborn akosa na akosawa. So Brian si kutata hata si kustuka sana lakini wa kwanza nilistuka sana. Margaret's sons have ectodermal dysplasia, an inherited genetic condition where they are born with defects in their skin, 
hair and teeth. As such, they cannot sweat because they do not have the sweat glands, which are important in regulating one's body temperature. Most of the time, I was able to get a lot of money. Kama hata leo hii hata watu wakubwa hivi huwezi travel nao mchana maybe you travel nao siku juu ya joto akija kama huyu Branson anatoka shule kitu cha kwanza ni kuingia kwa shawa oge na aji, alale huko kwa tiles chini juu ya hiyo nini juu ya hiyo joto bado sasa si joto yenyewe anaweza kunywa dawa atipungue ni kitu ni ya ni kitu iko permanent kwake uh, ilikuwa nilikuwa class 7 nikaenda kutembea nikaona nikaona kuna uncle yangu alikuwa anakaa hivi kama mimi nikajua hata mimi naweza kuwa kama e, kama kama hata yako ni condition hata mimi naweza survive slex skin yao ni light sana ni light sana alafu ni kitu kama kuangalia they are very rough in hands kwa mikono na kwa miguu anapata hiyo kupasuka pasuka alafu kichwa hakina nywele ya ku ya ku e, nimecover kichwa nywele ni moja moja so it's like ndio wana, wanakuwa na hiyo joto nyingi Ah nilikuwa tunaona ah ndio watu wamenitenga na yani inabidi ukao ukao umejidharau lakini sasa unaona hapana kama yangu yangu uko hivi hadi mimi naweza kuwa kama yeye Margaret and sons had to come up with ways to cope with their condition ways that would make life a little bit bearable kama kuna joto nabeba maji na chupa najimwagilia hata kani kwa gari kwa matatu najimwagilia na sisi tu ni twenge wa zote nika hivyo ndio artist hiyo joto ipunguke mm. unajua kama una uwezo ya kwenda mahali pazuri penye pana nini pana hiyo climate ya watoto wako nyingine unaomba tu Mungu na unasonga mbele okay huwa tu naomba Mungu na nina wa encourage wao wenyewe nawaambia mvumilie it come to pass mtakuwa mtagroom kwa watu wakubwa na mkae vizuri okay na nawaambia kitu cha muhimu sana ni kusoma na msukubali mtu awaambie mko hivi na hivi na hivi muji muji andaret mujione ati mko chini ati amfanani na wengine hata watu wakisema by the way hata kuna kuna siku Branson huyu mdogo alikuwa shule yao ni next to hapa alikuwa na joto ikimshika anaenda kuna kariba hapo huko penye mmepita alikuwa anaenda hapo ana ana anasema kudu ku swim so ikifika senye joto imemshinda sana anaenda anaoga akawa anakuja kuna matope sana ninamuuliza ni nini wao nilisikia joto nikawa na mchapa lakini nikaona hata kumchapa aisaidii ile tu ni mu understand so na nikamuonesha dangerous ya kwenda kwa mtu ni heri atakisikia joto akuje nyumbani eh uka, most of the time napenda kukaa pale kuna kivuli ama pale kuna karibu kuna maji while having a sweater might be part of a school uniform Margaret's sons have no use for it and any clothes made of heavy fabric they just wana cartoon is a kawaida but most of the time at this mara moja ama mbili nimewachapa juu ya kupoteza sweater kwa shule akitoka tu hapa amedress vizuri akifika huko ana misplace anywhere penye tu na atasahau saa ya kukuja si mara moja ama mbili nimemchapa juu ya kutupa sweater juu anaweza 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 hata toa hata zote akae tu na ndani their inability to sweat is one thing the other is eating something that needs special consideration especially in the different schools where they may be like James ako inform tu anasomea kikuyu but sasa unaona nilibidi niende mpaka na barua ya daktari as a, as in a special diet but ukienda kwa shule hata ukilipa pesa ya special diet apati kama ni gideri kitukaa gideli hawali juu meno zao wako na seti yote ya meno na tena they are like they are sharp their teeth nyama hawali Otanles mimi niwapikie sasa kitu kama liver niwapikie kama mama hivyo lakini vitu nyingi ni ile ya kuli kitu kama miwa anaiona tu ana salivate lakini haezi kula juu ya hiyo shida ya meno yao napenda ugali mm. ugali na na ini wanakula hizi vitu kama viazi vitu kama mchele lakini vitu kama sasa atakipita kupika gideri mimi nataka kama mama na, na sami sasa tunapika sufuria mbili kuna ile sasa nitapika yao kando na yetu while the family is close knit society views situations they don't understand with an eye of stigma anasema ah wewe kana mtu ana meno sema ah maybe sema na brush meno mtu anakuja na nuri za una brush ni sawa una unabaki kiwazo unaona umetengwa. Mm. Na sisi tu vibaya lakini 
inabidi tu niendelee kwa sababu sina otherwise baada ya muda wa kichapozo anakuja na ananipota na niambia huyu amenitusi hivi na hivi na hivi nasikianga vibaya hata sengine nasikia kuchapo huyu mtoto na nimfanyie vile nimeza mfanyia tu na wakapanga na kunzi mimi sasa anaanza kulia na mimi sasa huyu anaanza kulia na huyu ana ana mguru sije na mtusi kiana meno kwa na meno mbili ndio anaambia ati huyu ana nywele zake ni kaza na kamasi na hapa ni huwa analia tu tukitoka kucheza tukaenda kucheza na yeye kidogo napata mtu anamwambia haufa hapa ndio ndio anafanya ah ona huyu yanaka wanaanza kumwingilia kumwingilia huyu lakini ninakuja na mdefend nyumbani huku wamezana na watu watu wakana marafiki lakini kuna wengine wanaua hata huwa wana mtusi naenda naambia wazazi wao mzazi huyo anaweza hata kumwadhibu huyo mtoto wake wanapendana as brothers eh so, lakini nje nje ndio wako wamekubarika wako wamekubarika sana au kuzi hata nimeishi kama ni nikiona plot yenye siko comfortable nina shift yeah hata shule hivyo hivyo nilikuwa nikipeleka mtoto unaona anakuambia ah hapo mam ninaambiwa hivi na hivi ninamtoa hiyo shule nimeishi nikiwabadilisha mashule mm. unasikia akisema ah, watoto wanakuwa okay wengine hata walikuwa wanaita arbino but in the reasons tuangalia wana hiyo kala ya arbino zimu so nilikuwa unasikia wakiambia huyu mama wa watoto wale sijui meno zinakuanga aje hivyo yeah ukisikia maneno kama hayo Uwe, ilikuwa inanifanya by, by saa hii sasa mimi nime, nime, nimekuwa hardened but hiyo kitambo nilikuwa najisikia vibaya hata kama kitu kama chat si kwa na attend function singeenda nilikuwa tunataka tu nikae na watoto wangu kwa nyumba Margaret has had to grow a thick skin to withstand negativity for the sake of her children and she is hopeful for a bright future for them as in niliona nilimit with my friends nikaona hata tuko wengi na vile niligugo nikaona hata inchi za nje ziko na watu kaa hawa so ikanipea confidence sasa yeah i love these kids are so uh, very bright mimi yeah. nilikuwa nafanya tourism lakini tourism naona ni mzuri kwa sababu nitakuwa na na hiyo yani nikipita kwa hewa nzuri mm. niki sema kama nikifanya tourism hiyo itani favor uh, kwa nini kwa environment okay kama mama hiyo sasa hivi niko single kama ni baba yao ndio huyo alienda bila sijui aliona condition ya watoto ningetaka kama kungekuwa na na na, na organization yenye itatambua hawa watoto wapate malezi mema na masomo because hawa watoto si wajinga ni welevu so hata ile kitu wananiilizanga sana sana ni kuniuliza about baba yao but sasa kama mama ningeomba tu kama tungepata tungeungana sisi kama wenye wako na hawa watoto tupate organization ya tatusimamia isimamia watoto wakae vizuri mazingira mazuri na wasome hii si si ulemavu ili ni maumbile tu ni challenge tu kama ile nyingine lakini tutazoyana na hiyo challenge tu x linked ectodermal dysplasia fully manifests in boys as in James and his brother Branson although data in Kenya is unavailable it is estimated that internationally 7 in 10000 births will have this condition prognosis in life however is generally good still to come <laughs>